here is the IC station project. Uh, they have sent me this uh, whole packet. I'm going to remove one other kit now. Uh, this is the electronic igniter kit. So we are going to make this electronic igniter kit. As you can see, they have sent everything in. One switch went away. So it is here. And the rest of the components are here. First of all, I have to explain this a little bit. Here is the PCB for this one. And it will accommodate all the components on. And uh, the main component for this one is this transformer. Uh, which is a special design ignition transformer high voltage of course here it will produce high voltage and these uh, are the winding there are three windings total one is the HD winding uh, other is the main winding and then the feedback winding so these three are the windings in this transformer uh, we will fix this transformer on this PCB then there is a transistor which is of course 2, 2 SD 880 uh, D double eight zero NPN transistor which will be fixed on this PC on this location it will be fixed and here is the block terminal block which will be used to power up this unit and then here is this uh, diode which is in the feedback circuit as well as there is a resistor uh, which is also in the feedback circuit this is 33 ohms resistor small value resistor and one watt resistor of course and here is the switch to switch this unit on and off mm. so these are the components they have sent and of course there is a tie to tie up this transformer uh, here is the capacitor which is for the smoothing of course it will be over here so this uh, capacitor we are start starting from here or somewhere anywhere we can start uh, so this is the 470 microfarad 16 volt capacitor you can see and we will put it in the way that the positive will come over here and this long lead is positive of course this uh, arrow you can see this is also uh, denoting the negative and the negative lead is shorter of course so it will be in some way like this and then we will put it like this and then we'll bend the leads for this so that it will come some way like this and what we will do is we will not produce much more stress on its leg its legs so we will put it in some way like that it should be on its own uh, stress as you can see like this then we will put the resistor so for the resistor what we can do is we can bend the legs some way like this and then we'll put it straight forward and then the diode will come over here the diode have a line on it and this is the cathode there is a line here also on the PCB so that will go same like the direction is there on the PCB it will be some way like this then we will fix this uh, terminal block so the terminal block one side is straight and this uh, side has holes in it so the whole side will come out outside like this uh, then later on we will fix the resist the transistor so transistor will go some way like this and then of course uh, we will bend the leads and will bend it in the way that the hole should match the transistor heatsink hole and the PCB ho hole should match somewhere like this so that we will be able to screw this. So there is a nut bolt they have given. So this nut bolt we should have to put it in and the nut using a small screwdriver we should have to tight this up. Now we will solder all the components uh, from the other side. So here we are using our soldering iron uh, to solder all these components.
for the transformer you should understand the connections this is important that this double connection will go here in the mid Then this small diameter wire you can see, uh, this will be here on the right hand side. This will go in this hole. And then this thicker wire, which is for the collector, this will go in the first or on the left hand side. So here we will solder all these wires. Now we will bend this transformer wires and leads and it will be something like this. Then we will put them together like this and we'll power up our circuit. Uh, but first we should have to cut down all the extra leads from the PCB. After cutting all the leads we can power this up. For power up we will use this 3.7 volt battery so here is this positive this one and there is the negative so we will lose these connection connections and will fix these wires in put the wires in proper polarity otherwise the circuit will be damaged so take care, don't put it in reverse, now is the time to test it. So now you can see, the circuit is producing plasma. For the testing, we have this piece of paper, we should have to burn this. So you can see, this is burning, I am doing it again in front of you so that you will understand it well. So here this is burning you can see. So something like that is a circuit and it worked very well. So hopefully this will be a small nice gadget for people who are igniting their items like gas burners or anything like that and uh, some people are glowing cigarette and this can be used as a fuel less uh, cigarette lighter it's nice circuit and it will be working of course the IC station products are good they are working they are reliable and they are cheap so thank you for watching keep on watching stay tuned subscribe and like